All right. Okay, we're going to do a project today. We're continuing with our folk art. We finished the folk art fish. And um, we're going to do a couple of folk art cranes, a little bird, or crane, shorebirds, as we might say. These are really neat. These really are that you can put in your home or in your kitchen or whatever. And all it is, I found this on the internet, found a picture of them. And they, all they do is stand, uh, they have rods that go through them just like that, in other words. They would be in this position, as we possibly say. And these are... Oh, let's see. These are probably from tip to tail about six inches long on this one. A little over six and a half. And then this one here, I, that's be hard to measure him, but he's about four inches in other words. And I took them and cut them out of one inch basswood. Okay. And these are the pieces here. There's your pieces right here. And I thought this would be a neat project, folk art project, for us to do. Now, when you, you cut it, you want the grain to go this way. This is the way that you want the grain to be running on this piece. Same thing here. You want the grain to sort of be running in this direction, in other words, so that you can uh, work with it. All right? Just uh, You want your, your direction of grain to be running this way. And these are both one inch thick. And we're going to bring them down pretty thin. So let's go ahead and start with this project. Now, as, as a lot of you know now, we're into, uh, as I've said, this one's going to run me around uh, six, almost seven inches in length, really. Almost seven inches in length. And we're going to get our knife. And, and these are real simple projects to do. Really making nice projects for your, your kitchen or for your wife or girlfriend or whatever. Mother, father, whatever. <laughs> and uh, um, so we have our pattern here in our piece. And basically all this project involves, I've done some miniature ones. Uh, let me get them for you for a minute, uh, just a second. I'll show you some miniature ones I did. And you can do these miniature ones. You don't have to make them. You can, uh, but here's a couple of, here's a couple of miniature ones I made. All right, just like this, see? And they're really neat projects. They really are. So, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and start on our piece. Now, basically, this is just a, a, a rounding off, basically, and shaping a little bit. You go from side to side, taking some wood off on each side, not too much on one side. You want to come over and continue on the other side. In other words, you want to make them kind of even. So these are not difficult projects. But when you get through with them, they're nice projects. You know, I, I try to find projects that are... Whoop. Now you see, you see how the, the wood, I was cutting along here like this. And when I went to cut like that, you see how the wood did? It grabbed it. So you got to turn your knife around. We talked about that uh, last week concerning the fish. Not last week. Yeah, maybe it was last week. I don't know. Uh, how the grain of the wood will change on you. Now, it would probably do the same thing here. See that? Now, what, what you'll do is if you continue like that, you're going to break a big piece off of it. So you want to come back this way with the wood. That's why I say uh, wood carvers, after a period of time, get what is known as the feel of the wood. Okay? Now, I received a comment uh, not long ago of a young gentleman who um, 
who claim that that I, I was not using the knife correctly that you never use a knife where you pull it towards you like this in other words now you know I, I, I get a lot of messages from a lot of people okay but I, I want y'all to understand something uh, I don't know whoever would come up with a situation that because you pull a knife you know at you like this that it's it's uh, not but there's a lot of people that of course they have they don't really have any knowledge of carving that pulling a knife towards you like a paring knife is is unsafe so I just don't if anybody tells you something like that please just ignore them because and it didn't didn't make me mad or nothing I'm just I just realized this guy that really didn't know what he was talking about you know and so I don't really mess with people like that because uh, and, I, and I mean I tried to explain some things and he you know still wouldn't listen so so really you don't waste your time uh, but pulling a knife towards you as I'm doing now is not an unsafe act you know you see where my thumb is and everything like that and I'm not I'm not using a lot of pressure where people get cut in carving folks people get cut in carving because they don't they don't uh, have sharp knives a lot of times that's usually the case now when this wood is going to change grain a lot in other words so if, if your knife gets to the point where it starts digging in then turn around and go the other way okay now we're going to come up here to the beak We're going to come back around. And like I said, you can do these in miniature. You can do this in an afternoon project, folks. This is not a difficult project at all. But it's a very rewarding project, and it's a good folk art project. Let's put it that way. See that? See how when you look at the piece, how you go from side to side and take off. See, we're just gradually, see, we're already, we're, in a, we're ahead of ourselves now. There you go. This is a good rounding off project for beginners also. Kind of, uh... Now, folks, I, I'm a flat plane car, but remember, these types of these types of, of of pieces do not really involve flat plane work because you don't really do a lot of flat plane work. See how that tail, that area back there, begins to just sort of shape out. that like that and I 
kind of like abstract stuff. It's it's uh, abstract stuff. A lot of abstract stuff is not uh, stuff that you. Um, Now, as, of course, as you get close to the beak here, you want to be careful. Now, see how the grain changes here? See how uh, it, it's kind of hard? To, so, take your knife and just barely hit it in there. Be careful. Don't force. Don't force anything. There we go. See, just kind of work it. Don't try to get in a hurry. Don't try to force the wood, folks. Please. There's where people have their biggest problem. Is trying to force the wood to do something that it's not going to do. Let the wood tell you, and no matter speaking, let the wood tell you when your knife is 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 uh, going against the grain. It's going to tell you. Believe me. And I don't. Please don't tell everybody that Gene Messer talks the wood, okay? Because I don't do that. But uh, <laughs> I'm just telling you, the, the your knife and, and the wood will tell you when you're going against the grain. When it doesn't want to go through the wood and then turn around and go elsewhere okay so far looking good 